we are supporting uh, uh, community so that we help in uh, championing and reducing uh, FGM, child marriages in Korea and also teenage pregnancy. So um, the current trends um, on FGM uh, right now is that um, there is still a high rate of uh, FGM. Girls are being cut and uh, in fact uh, they have come up with a new device where girls are being cut in the night and um, parents and, and um, guardians decide to take these girls uh, uh, and bring, let's say bringing on board the cutters in their homes and uh, this is done at night. So they are revolutionizing uh, what has been the practice over time. Initially there were celebrations and people are doing it in the open air but you realize right now it is being done um, in a way that is a little secret because of the different efforts uh, uh, that are, and coordination uh, efforts that have been done by government, uh, sector department and entities including non-governmental uh, organizations. My name is Josphat Chachawaise. I work in Korea East Sub-County, MOH office. I coordinate a program uh, of child and adolescent health and I work closely with the sub-county GBV coordinator. So in Korea East, we, we are bordered by Tanzania and Narok County. And Korea East is a sub-county within Migori County that practices FGM. FGM is very rampant in Korea East. Apart from FGM, there is also rampant uh, FGM, um, um, there is also rampant uh, sexual gender-based violence within the sub-county. Uh, including wife battering, teenage pregnancies, which is on the which is very high in Korea East because uh, after the girls undergo the cut, a majority of them are married off to mature men or even to young boys, and so they end up becoming mothers at a very tender age. Though the numbers over time have gone down, uh, comparing the last five years in Korea East. The number of teenage pregnancies have gone down because of a lot of interventions that we've done with several uh, organizations within the sub-county. But still, it is a problem within us because even this year, we had a few cases of girls who underwent the cut. And the big problem that we have in Korea East is that even when the cutters within the sub-county or within Korea are uh, intimidated by the government restrictions, a number of parents ferry the girls during the night to Tanzania because we are bordering Tanzania so they take them to Tanzania to undergo the cut so it's still going on secretly and we have quite a number of girls that are going through. Naya together with the support of uh, UNICEF uh, we have uh, had uh, different uh, um, uh, different uh, mitigation strategies that we have come up with. Uh, key among them is that we are now leveraging on existing uh, structures uh, that are uh, government, uh, including working with the uh, GAO, we are working with the children's department, we are also working with the different uh, sector departments at the county level, including the Department of Gender, uh, the Ministry of Health, among other departments. So we have had a coordinated approach, a multi-sectoral approach of, of, of bringing on board um, different stakeholders so that we fight this vice uh, together. Uh, in regards to teenage pregnancy, currently in Korea East, we are at around 20-21% which is uh, still a big number because it is above the national national figures, which is at 18%. Um, and as regards to FGM, uh, it's not very easy to quantify, but considering the data we have in our, in our facilities, because we, we have a provision in our reporting tools where we capture uh, the young women who come to our maternities to deliver, how many of them have undergone the cut. Though this one cuts across to even the very old women, we've seen that uh, at least more than more than 60% of the women, women folk around, have undergone the cut. Um, I, I, I think going forward, there is need for uh, constructive conversations um, between uh, the community and also just giving an opportunity for the youth, uh, for the, more so for the girls, so that they, they can also make their own decisions because you realize that most of these girls are being forced into the cut against their will. And uh, sometimes uh, they are even uh, forced by being um, twisted into not being supported 
adopted by their parents. So it is very important to have uh, continued uh, conversations between the community, the government structures that are within Migori County, uh, and more so Korea East and Korea West sub-counties. But again, we are also calling uh, on uh, our leaders so that uh, they give us the goodwill in having conversations around uh, FGM because uh, the people listen to them and there is need for them also to have a conversation so that uh, we see whether we are going to bring down FGM. Yeah, FGM uh, has got several con medical consequences. For example, um, it really gives a problem during childbirth because after the healing of the cut, the process of healing leaves, down, leaves a scar and we expect that during childbirth the muscles around the perineal area are supposed to expand to give way for the baby to be born. So this poses a threat to deliveries within the sub-county because majority of the deliveries are difficult deliveries and majority of them end up going to, to be done theatre. Consider, do, do, to be done CS, considering that within the sub-county we don't even have a theatre. Uh, there is also the trauma that is associated with FGM. The girl goes some post-traumatic stress that may live with this girl for the rest of her life. Um, currently there is coordinated effort uh, that is spearheaded by the county commissioner and um, this brings on board stakeholders uh, from different cadres. We have uh, CSOs, uh, we have uh, members of uh, the national uh, government security teams, we have the police, uh, we have uh, at, at the sub-county levels, we have the assistant county commissioners, the county commissioners, uh, the deputy county commissioners, and all the other um, uh, players uh, within the security sector. And uh, you realize that there is a steering committee um, that uh, brings on board the Tanzanian team and the Kenyan team and you realize that there has been conversations between the two teams so that we ensure that the porous borders do not allow for girls to be transported from Kenya into Tanzania and vice versa. And uh, just also to ensure that we have closely monitored uh, operations of uh, girls who are being taken for the cut across the border or those perpetrators who want to hide from justice running away from Kenya and going onto the other side of uh, the East African community.